Our story today is a nonfiction book. It means that everything in it is going to be real. It's going to give you facts, information. It's called Amazing Animals, and Robin Bernard is the author, and I believe also the photographer, because these are all going to be real pictures of real animals. And uh, again, lots of information. Take a look. Look at this nose. Look at these ears. Look at these eyes. Look at these feet. What animals do these belong to? Take a guess, then keep reading to find out. Okay, there's the nose and the ears, eyes and the feet. Hopefully you have an idea because you will find out in this book who those belong to. eyes. Whose eyes are these? And owls, they help it hunt for food in the dark at night. The squirrel has eyes on the side of its head. It can look in two places at once. Peekaboo, with its eyes on stalks, this hermit crab can see over things that are in its way. Ears. A bush baby hears the softest sounds. That's why it folds its ears closed when it sleeps. Otherwise, its super hearing would keep it awake. And Impala's ears are always turning and twitching. That's because they're busy listening for danger and swatting away flies. These long, thin ears help the hare hear things far, far away. But that's not all. They let heat out of the hare's body and help keep it cool. Noses. Is this a flower on the mole's face? No, it's the mole's nose. The wiggly feelers on it can find juicy earthworms in the dark. How does a crocodile breathe when it's underwater? Its nostrils stick out so that it can get air. What a hose of a nose. The elephant cools off by taking a shower with its long trunk. Teeth. Who's the boss here? These hippos are trying to scare each other away by showing their big teeth. Which one will swim away first? It's not easy for a big walrus to climb onto these rocks. For help, it uses its long tusks to pull itself out of the water. My, what big sharp teeth this woodchuck has. The better to chomp through tough plants with. Tongues. Instead of its nose, a snake uses its tongue to sniff the air. That's how it tells that a tasty smelling snack is nearby. This lion cub doesn't need a bathtub. Its mom uses her rough tongue as a washcloth. And that's the same thing that uh, mama cats do to their baby kittens. The chameleon's sticky tongue is longer than its body. Its tongue darts out in a flash to catch a crunchy bug. Body covers. A baby harp seal's furry coat is snowy white. That helps it blend in with its icy home. In other words, it's camouflaged, so its enemies can't find it. 
How does a porcupine protect itself? It backs into an enemy and sticks it with its pointy quills. And once those quills get in, it's very difficult to get out because it has a barb on each one of the ends of those. An armadillo is covered with hard bony plates. If an enemy gets close, the armadillo rolls up into a hard ball and that protects it from its predators. Feet. A flying tree frog's webbed feet work like four little parachutes. It uses them to glide from tree to tree. The sloth has strong claws on its feet. They're great for hanging upside down from a branch. A kangaroo has big, powerful feet. They help it jump farther than the length of a school bus. So it can cover a lot of territory pretty fast. Take another look. Now do you know which animals these belong to? What amazing things can each one do? There's some fun facts at the end. Owls can't move their eyes like you can. So how do they look around? They twist, twist their heads almost full circle. When woodchucks chomp on plants, their teeth wear down. But that's no problem because their teeth keep growing back. An elephant can hold as much as two gallons of water in its trunk at one time. That's a big drink of water. The sloth is built to hang from treetops, but down on the ground, it takes nearly a minute for this slowpoke to move about six feet. In other words, it can do well in the trees, but not so well on the ground, which is why it stays in the trees. Lots of interesting facts. Hopefully you enjoyed those and you're reading 20 minutes a day. School starts soon for Sioux Falls students and it has already started for other students throughout the state and in other states. So hope everybody stays safe and practices good uh, measures to keep healthy and keep on reading. Bye-bye.